Hey everyone, it's Cindy and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate having you here. Today's video is a replay of Feel Good Friday that took place on the 21st of July and the title is Affirmations Don't Work. Feel Good Friday takes place every single week on my Facebook page, I nearly said channel, on my Facebook page and you can catch it live there, 9.30am UK time and be joining with a conversation. But if you love to get it here, that's fine too. So if you want to find out why affirmations don't work, in my humble opinion, and what I do instead, then just keep watching. Good morning, it's Friday, that means it's Feel Good Friday, and today I'm gonna to explain to you why I have written the title, Affirmations Don't Work. It's very controversial, excuse my phone, I forgot to put it on silent, oops. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna be talking about, but in case I haven't met you yet, let me just say who I am. My name is Cindy Davis, I'm the Feel Good Coach and I help people with all kinds of stuff but mostly it's those um, blocks that are stopping them from having everything they want in life and I strongly believe that we can all have and be and do whatever we want uh, but it's just our um, unconscious thoughts and things like that that are keeping us stuck. I'm just going to, my screen's it's got a reminder, apologies. It has gone on to something else, and I can't see comments and things. Okay, so um, today we're talking about affirmations, and like lots of us use affirmations. There are people, thousands, probably millions of people using affirmations across the world right now, and if you haven't come across affirmations before, it's that thing where you say something like, I am brilliant, and uh, eventually if you say it enough, you're supposed to believe it and um, that's not my experience and it's not the experience of a lot of people that I speak to as well. So what happens when we say an affirmation that is um, not in agreement with what we're, uh, what happens often time when we say an affirmation is we get that negative voice going, no you're not, no it isn't, and all that kind of thing and it can, um, and, it, and it means that the affirmation's not working. And you can keep saying it over and over again and I guess over years or a long period of time it might work but for me it didn't and for lots of other people it didn't so today I'm going to be sharing with you a tool that I use that is I think 100% better than using affirmations and I'm going to teach you how to do it and give you some uh, pointers on how to get yourself to use it often and how and where you can actually put it into practice so that's what we're going to do today the aim of today's session is to, for me to teach you this method so that you can go away and train your brain and you can start to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. We've all got things we want and that's what this tool is going to help you with. So if you're there watching, then do drop me a comment to say hi. If you're there on the replay, still drop me a comment because I will pop back and say hi to you too. So the way I'm going to teach you this method is um, in three parts. So the first part, I'm going to explain to you why I think affirmations don't work, and I've kind of touched on it already. The, in the second part, I'm going to explain to you the tool and how you can use, uh, what that is that you can use instead. And then the third part is when I'm going to be explaining how you can use it and when you can use it and how you can get the best out of this tool. So let's get into it. I've explained what's going to happen. So now it's time to tell you why I don't think affirmations work. And the reason I don't think they work is because um, we don't believe them. And when, and when we don't believe it, it just doesn't go into our unconscious mind. The whole point of an affirmation is you're supposed to say it and then it's going to have some kind of effect on your, um, your mind so that you will start to believe that thing. But the trouble is even the word affirmation means to make firm. And how can you make firm something that you don't believe? It just doesn't make any sense, does it? And so um, affirmations, what they, what they do when we say them when we don't believe them, is they create resistance in us. And that resistance will come up and it will manifest in the form of a negative thought or a negative voice that is contradictory to the affirmation. Or we'll feel bad when we say it. There'll be some kind of frustration or annoyance or something when we say that affirmation. So that's how we know it's not working. And affirmations are you know popular everywhere in personal development 
uh, because they must work for some people. But a lot of the people I speak to, uh, they just don't get on with affirmations at all. So I've explained why I think affirmations don't work. They, they are, um, um, I'm sure, a good tool, but not for me. So what I'm going to do now is explain to you what I like to use instead. So I've kept the first part really brief because I want to give as much time as I can to the what part of this uh, training. So what I use instead was created by um, a guy called Noah St. John, and he is now a big personal development guru type person. And he got fed up of affirmations and the fact that they didn't work for him. And um, he kind of had a bit of a paddy in the shower, <laughs> had a bit of a tantrum and started kind of asking questions like, why isn't this working for me? How can I make it work? Why, why, can I, um, why isn't um, everything working better for me? Why, why do I have to struggle? How can I make this thing work? How come everyone else can get away with using affirmations and they seem to be being successful and I'm not? So he started asking all these questions while he was in the shower. Now, I don't know this, you know, like from personal experience, it's from reading his book, of course. So uh, just, you know, as a disclaimer, I've never been in the shower with Noah St. John. So um, he was having um, all these questions sort of as a, as a kind of a rant when he was having a shower. And he noticed that he, he started getting answers back, not from some like ghostly voice, but actually from his, his mind. His mind started answering him and he would get these um, answers coming back to him and, um, and they were inspired. So he thought, how can I use this thing that my brain's doing? How can I use that to my advantage and find some way of doing affirmations that works for me? So he wanted to create something that doesn't come up against that resistance like affirmations do. And so he came up with something else, which is called affirmations. And you might have heard of me talk about them before, or you might not. If you have heard me talk about them before, then do please comment and let me know. Or if this is a new concept to you, also let me know. So affirmations, it's spelt the same as affirmations, but with an O instead of an I in the middle. Obviously not near the end. So affirmations is based on the, you know, the Latin to, to form which makes sense if you're trying to form a new belief, form a new thought in your mind, then it makes sense to use something that's going to do that rather than trying to make firm something that um, you don't believe. So, I mean, affirmations do work if there's something like, something that you do kind of believe, something that, or something that you definitely believe to make it firmer. Absolutely, that's what they'll work brilliantly for. But when you're trying to get yourself to believe something different, what you want is our formations. So I'm going to get into how they work. So our formations are in the form of a question. And the reason questions work is because our brains love questions, don't they? So even when someone asks us a rhetorical question, we kind of have to answer it even in our heads, don't we? Yeah, exactly. Um, and that was a rhetorical question. And I'm guessing you probably answered it um, either out loud or by nodding and uh, answering it in your head. So our brains love questions and they love to go away and find all the answers for us. And so questions are really, really powerful. And as a coach, questions are my biggest, most powerful tool. So what Noah did was actually genius. He took questions and then he played with them and tried to make them as powerful as he possibly could and as empowering as he possibly could. So what he did is he chose the question word, why? So we start affirmations with the word, why? Really simple. And what that does, by using a question that starts with the word, why? It opens up our mindset. If we've got a set mind, that's what mindset means. If our mind is set, asking a why question just opens everything up, opens up new horizons and new ideas and new thoughts. So he started our formations with the word why. And then what he decided to do is to write this book and it's called The Book of Our Formations. I highly recommend that you get it. It's available on Kindle. I'm not sure if it's on Audible, but and it's definitely available in um, hard copy. But I do highly recommend the book and check out Nelson John if that's something you're interested in. So he wrote this book and he put it out into the world 
and at some point I found it and started using affirmations. And what I've noticed is when I say an affirmation for something I don't believe, I always can feel the resistance in my body. There'll be some uncomfortable feeling of some kind, some discomfort. And I will also very often get the little negative Nancy voice going, no, you can't do that. It's not possible and all that kind of stuff. And we've all experienced that. So if you know, if you're watching this, comment below if you've experienced that. You know, when you say something like an affirmation, um, I am really rich and successful. And then you get the voice going, no, you're not. Have you seen your bank account? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it happens all the time, all the time. So comment below if you've had the same experience. Now with questions, that's just not going to happen. When I say affirmations, I find that there's no resistance. I don't feel that resistance. It literally feels like it's swooping straight into my unconscious mind um, easily. And I feel better. I feel better, especially depending on what affirmation I choose. It can make me feel really calm and just know that everything's taken care of. Or it can make me feel really happy. And we can do affirmations about all different things. So I'm going to get into that in a second when we get on to the how. But just I want you to take away that questions are so powerful and affirmations are super powerful because they start with the word why. And if you notice, we do affirmations all the time, but we do the negative ones. So we say things like, why am I so clumsy? Why can't I do this? Why does everything always break? Why can't I win the lottery? <laughs> we say all these things and those are our formations. And what we're doing is forming beliefs in a really cool way that works. But they're not the beliefs we want to form. Right? You don't want to be forming a belief that you're really clumsy. And by doing an affirmation, all you're doing is making it worse. So we already do affirmations. This is nothing new but we're tweaking it and making it work for us. Sound good? Good, so I've told you all about affirmations, but now I'm guessing that you want me to move on and tell you the third part, which is how and when to use them, um, and also how to create them. So let's get into it. The first thing you do is you think of what it is you want. And that would be, you know, what your traditional affirmation would be, perhaps like, um, I am I am a beacon of joy. <laughs> I'm a beacon of joy today. That's my intention for today. I want to be a beacon of joy. So I could say an affirmation, I am a beacon of joy. And if I was feeling really grumpy, that would hit resistance. Now, for me, I'm feeling very joyful today. And so that just goes straight in and that's no problem for me. But if you're having a grumpy day and you try saying, today I'm a beacon of joy, you're gonna feel resistance and you're gonna get that voice going, well, probably swearing at you. So <laughs> I'm not gonna swear, but that's the result you're probably gonna get. So take your affirmation, um, and it could be anything that you want to, to bring into your life or to have more of. It could be about some feeling. It could be, I want to be more happy. Um, it could be, uh, I want to feel abundant. But it could be, I want a parking space to be available when I get there. <laughs> you know, when you're heading off to networking and you're running late and that kind of stuff. So we could say affirmations and they may or may not work. Make it into a question with starting with the word why and you'll be amazed by how much better that works. So that's it. It's really simple. So you take your affirmation and you make it into a why question. So it could be, why am I so happy today? Why am I a beacon of joy everywhere I go? Why am I feeling abundant? And when you're saying those ones about feelings, it really does. You feel that feeling. And I, I, I like to do it with a bit of tapping as well. In case you don't know, I do, I do EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, or tapping, which we mostly call it. Excuse me. And then it's just by tapping on um, acupuncture points. Well, I like to combine that with affirmations, and I call it happy tapping. And we do that over in my Walking on Sunshine Club. So if you haven't seen that, I think there's something here on the page that can direct you to the Walking on Sunshine Club. And you can join if you are wanting positivity to fill your newsfeed. So, um, <clears throat> so by saying the affirmation for a feeling that you want, you will start to feel that feeling. 
and it's incredible. And like affirmations, like the traditional ones, you just can say them over and over again like a mantra and it works really, really well. <clears throat> so once you've got your affirmation, what are you going to do with it? Oh, and, and if you did it for parking spaces, for instance, instead of, um, you might say, I want a parking space to be there when I get there. And if that's not, you know, part of your belief system, you might get the voice going, well, that's not going to happen. So um, when you do it as an affirmation, um, why is my parking space there waiting for me? Um, you're going to feel that it goes into your unconscious, there's no resistance. And the likelihood is you will spot a parking space somewhere near where you want to be because what you focus on you get more of. So that is how affirmations can help you to get what you want. You will spot opportunities, you will spot the things you want. Right, I've digressed a bit. So <laughs> we're having technical issues here at Feel Good HQ, but I'm a beacon of joy today, so I don't care. Marvellous. So yes, We've looked at how to create your affirmation and it's really, really simple and easy as you've seen. So the next thing is when do you use them? Well, you can use them all day, every day if you want to. You can, as I said, use it as a mantra and just wander around saying, why am I so happy all day? And pretty much guarantee you're gonna feel pretty happy if you do that, so you could choose to do that. But you can also use it um, for journaling. So in the morning, if you like to do a bit of meditation and then journaling, which I highly recommend both of those, you could use affirmations and write out a whole list of affirmations. You can have a list that you write out every day, or you could have just free flow affirmations for that day. It's up to you. Or you could have some combo of both of those things. You could have some affirmations that are ones that you're working towards. So you do those every day and you have some that you just free form every morning. And what you're doing there is reprogramming your brain or brains to, well, I'll tell you about that later, the S on the end of brains. Um, you have to stay tuned another Friday. But our brains are getting programmed then to look for opportunities to get that, whatever that thing is. So that's why it's work, it works so well. Another great way is to stick your affirmations on post-it notes and put them around the house or on your computer and everywhere like that. You can put them on your phone. So you could have it as a, as a phone case or you could have it as your lock screen. Um, that works really, really well. You could have it as a reminder that pops up in your phone. So it's gonna come up every five minutes and say your affirmation at you. And, and that works really, really well as well. But the most powerful way to use it absolutely the most powerful way is to record your voice saying them you can just do that on your phone with the voice recorder and record your voice saying them because when your voice is saying those affirmations to you that is so powerful if you don't believe me try it record um, a list of your key affirmations and um, Oh, hi, Tina. Sorry, I got I got uh, distracted by your comment then. Um, create your small list of affirmations that you want to work with and record your voice on your voice recorder on your phone or your um, memo thing, whatever you call it, and then listen to that every day and see what impact that has. So powerful. So those are a few ways that you can use affirmations and I'm sure you can think of lots of ways too. You could have maybe a short one as a password or something. I don't know, but you can find a way. I know you can. And if you can't, you can ask yourself, why am I easily finding ways to um, bring affirmations into my life? So it's easy, really, really easy. And I do hope that you're gonna go away and do it. Now, let me just check what Tina's saying. Oh, morning, Tina. <laughs> Yes, you can watch the replay. It's not, not a problem that you're here a little bit uh, later than usual. No problem at all, because you can catch it on the replay. So it's great to have you here. Thanks, Tina. Um, so I think we've talked about affirmations before, haven't we? But uh, this will be a good refresher for you. So uh, you're probably not using them because exactly like me, you learn a thing, you do it for a bit, and then maybe it drops off a bit, and you need a reminder every now and again. And I need reminders too, and that's that's what's brilliant about doing these videos because I get reminded of the, all the cool stuff that I know. So <laughs> let's um, move swiftly on and bring it all to a close. I want to sum up for you just so that we can really get clarity about what's happened today. So first of all, I um, explain to you why I don't think affirmations work, and it's because of that resistance that we get. 
when we say them, especially for affirmations that we don't believe. Secondly, I, ch- I taught you what you can do instead, affirmations, which are brilliant. And um, I tell lots of people, everyone I talk to near enough about affirmations because they are so good. And thirdly, I gave you some ideas for how you can use them, how to create your own, how to use them and when to use them. So hopefully that's given you a really good idea. My aim was to teach you this method so that you can go away and start training your brain to bring you to your attention everything that you're after, all the opportunities and things that you want. And also so that you can choose how to feel every day. Really simple and easy. So you know me, I like to give you actions. So I want you to go away I don't mean to go away. That's rude. That would be really rude. What I want you to do is to get some paper or a notebook and and scribble out a few affirmations that you would like to use. And I recommend having one in particular that you have as a mantra that you can actually pull on whenever you need it. So mine is why am I why am I so loving? And that's a really good one for when I'm if I'm getting stressed or something or things aren't working for me. I can just, you know, go back to why am I so loving? And it brings me into that centered, loving place. And it works really well for me. But you need to find a mantra affirmation that's going to work for you. So I would like you to do that, please. And feel free to write your affirmations in the comments and let me know what you choose. And also, I want you to commit to using affirmations in some way, in one of the ways I've suggested, or in some creative way that you come up with. And. Yes, so Tina's saying that she definitely has affirmations that don't ring true. So she's going to watch the replay and learn all about affirmations and she's going to love them and you are too. So thank you so, so much for watching. I have really enjoyed this video and I hope you have too. Next Friday, I'll be talking about meditation because it is my number one feel good tip and it's the last thing to go out of my routine. (laughs) You know how it is when you get busy and you drop things and you can't put everything in. But meditation is the one thing that I hang hang on to the most. And even that lately had sort of dropped off a bit. I wasn't doing it as much and I've just fallen back in love with it and I wanna share that with you next Friday, all the benefits which are many and how you can get started. So I look forward to speaking to you then. Have a fabulous week. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed the video today and you found it useful and that you're going to do your own affirmations and use them every day because they are so powerful and I cannot recommend them enough. Do get Noah's book as well, Noah St. John, The Book of Affirmations. Highly recommend the book. He goes into obviously a lot more detail than I do in this video. So if you want to catch the next Facebook Live, it's on Friday the 28th at 9.30am on my Facebook page which is The Feel Good Coach and I will be talking about meditation. Meditation is my number one feel good tip and I haven't really been talking about it much lately because I kind of fell out of love with it a bit and I don't really know why but recently I fell back in love and I am there, we are sweethearts and uh, I want to share the many many benefits of meditation and if you can't meditate which is exactly how I felt before I managed to crack it then I'm going to share a tip with you that'll help you get started so if you want to find out about that then you can either head over to my page and like it so that you get notified when I get go live Uh, you'll get notified of the replay and where to find that or you can just hang around here on YouTube and I will of course share it here for you in a few days after the video is recorded just because it takes a bit of time to edit so thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate having you here and i hope you have a fabulous day i'll speak to you in the next video